Morning, good morning. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful morning. Uh, if you are just joining us for the first time, okay, if you are a first timer, uh, welcome to live streaming. If you enjoy our live uh, content, unedited live content, you are in the right place, okay? But if you are looking for something polished, okay, something highly edited, uh, you are in the wrong room, okay? You are in the wrong place. Uh, uh, but you know, it's, if you are still here, welcome. Okay, welcome to my daily live streaming. So this morning I'm going to unbox. Okay, we're gonna do a live unbox. Uh, easy presser. Is a one Z presser? People say one Z, but one means the E in Chinese. So easy presser. It's called GP6 special. Okay, GP6 special. I play with a lot of hand grinders. As you know, I have a lot of grinders behind me. Okay, I have a lot. I have a tons of grinders. So over the years, I played with a lot of grinders. And then a couple, uh, what, few weeks ago, one of my viewers, Sal, brought his GP6. Okay, and then uh, we did a lot of comparison. I, I mean, I have to say, the GP6 is uh, the best, the filter coffee from hand grinder for sure. For my experience, okay? I know some of you are different, but by the way, if you have GP6 at home, yeah, let me know in the comment section. How do you like it, okay? Do you like the uh, coffee from GP6 compared to other grinders you have? Folks, I have, okay, like I said, I have a lot of grinders. I have a J+, J Max, K+, right over there. I have a Commandante. I have a Timer X Lite. I mean, those grinders are the kind of like top end of hand grinders. And also I have various like mid-range grinders as well. Not only that, I have EK43. I have a DF64 with various burst sets. So far, okay, GP6, I mean, that's the most enjoyable. Okay, most enjoyable cup. All right. Anyway. Uh, let's do some live, uh, let's do the unbox. So again, so the, uh, Easy Presser, uh, I mean, so this one is not even on sale. So you have to, you, you have to pay for it at a full price, okay? So, but great thing about the Easy Presser, uh, buying from the direct from uh, online, they have a special promotion going on, so no shipping cost, okay? So this one cost me $199, okay? So this one cost me $199, so... It is a little pricey, but you know what? For the hand grind, if you're enjoying filter coffee in the morning, definitely you have to take a look at this grinder, okay? By the way, they got great, great reviews on internet right now. I think quite a few uh, YouTubers. I think Lance did a couple of videos on it as well. Again, uh, if you don't know who Lance is, I mean, he's, you know, he's a well-known YouTuber that specializes in coffee. I mean, he's kind of like me. He loves grinders like me, so. Uh, he did an in-depth review, but you know what? I want to show you, okay? Uh, so this morning, I'm going to do the proper live unboxing. So if you are thinking about getting one, so this is kind of like unboxing experience you are going to have, okay? All right, I'm just going to flip the camera here. Uh, comes with this box. That's it. Has an easy presser, you know. Uh, so this one I got from DHL. The ship through DHL. All There we go. So that is the box I uh, came with. Again, so this grinder is only good for filter, folks. Okay, if you are thinking about using it as your espresso, no, this is not it. Okay, just make sure, remember that this is only good for filter. Okay. So this one is a Z, uh, Easy Press or GP6 server. So uh, uh, this is a 48 millimeter 
conical board inside, 48 millimeter, okay? Uh, I have a fellow Opus that's 40 millimeter. So this is, a, this hand grinder has bigger birds than a lot of the coffee grinders out there. I'm just gonna. comes with okay, arms very simple packaging the brush cleaning brush and this is it so this is a easy press up silver so this is just a spin okay those in cup just spinning in Compared to, let's say, K plus, K plus here, this is magnetic. Easy presser, GP6, just uh, again, you go screw in. And very smooth. I have to say, Easy Presso does a really good job comes to making hand grinders for sure. So again, so this is the the unboxing. Uh, it's an underwhelming unboxing experience, but but it's not the unboxing. Okay, it's about the what kind of coffee we're gonna get out of it. Okay. So I know some of you are asking, okay, so what's the difference between these grinders? Okay. It's all about the bird geometry. Okay, it's all, all, all about the bird geometry because yes, I mean, that looks pretty much the same. Okay, so this is the GP6, uh, K plus, J max. Okay, so each grinder, the birds that uh, they're different. Okay, so Easy Press uh, uh, GP6 is made for filter coffee. If you guys are into filter, so this is pretty much for my uh, list is number one, the top of my list. Okay. If you are into espresso, J Max is they're specializing espresso because they got so many different grinders setting here. It's incredible. Okay, so J Max has so many different grinder settings, you can really, really fine tune it. I mean, we are talking about hundreds. These numbers are crazy, okay? And K Plus, okay, let's think about K Plus. So K Plus is kind of like between J Max and uh, GP6. Overall, okay, wear balance cup. So this one does really good with uh, espresso and also really good with filter coffee. Okay, really good. But GP6, no espresso, only good for filter, that's it, okay? This is only good for filter coffee. All right, so let me show you what is the difference between, so let's start with the K+, plus, okay? I'm gonna show, you, uh, I uh, put the video actually the, uh, from the website there. So that's the K plus bird design. You see that all the sharp edges go to the pretty much top to bottom. Okay, so that's K plus. Let's look at the J Max. Similar. Okay, not right there. Not as bad. So K plus all the way to the the cut lines all the way to the top. J Max is kind of halfway. Okay. Let's go back to K plus. 
is all the way to the top. All the way to the top. J max. Pretty much halfway down. Let's uh, take a look at the GP6. GP6 is a completely different design. Okay, very smooth. Go down here. The beans going down here. Do the very clean cut. So this is a GP6 ball design. So uh, three different grinder, three different bird design, and each bird has different purpose. Okay, I know Rain asked me, hey, can I, is that interchangeable? And I don't think so, okay. You know, it's, can you imagine if somebody come up with the grinder with like three different bird? It could be game changer. Okay, it could be game changer. If Easy Press is watching this video right now, if you can come up with the birds, actually interchangeable birds that really good for espresso, good for good for filter, okay, and you can buy the birds separately. You have something, buddy. You have something there. Yeah, it should be very interesting. Okay. Uh, so again, so if you are thinking about buying again. If you're thinking about buying hand grinder for your es uh, espresso in the morning, I have to say, you know what, just, just get the machine, okay? It's not, my personal point of view, it's not getting a hand grinder for your espresso. Way too much work, all right? Way too much work. I don't know about you guys, but, I mean, filter is fine. Filter usually takes about 15 to 20 seconds to grind, like 13 to 15 grand, okay? That's definitely doable in the morning. But comes to J Max espresso friendly takes me about a minute. Okay, a minute to grind. If I'm using the Commandante, more like a minute and a half. Okay, way too much. All right, way too much. So, but filter is fine. So, I mean, that's the reason why I really enjoy. I'm really looking forward to trying this. Uh, I only tried GP6 maybe four or five times. Uh, we did a blind taste a couple of weeks ago. I mean, every time I pick out the GP6, that's the another reason I purchased this grinder. Hold on. Uh, we got the Arc say K4 does the uh, 30 seconds. Good. Yeah, 30 seconds is pretty good for espresso. That's really fast. Okay. That's really fast there. The Mohammed. On the live chat room, uh, try both K Plus and GP6. I prefer the GP6, yep, pro over high clarity and the great tasting notes, okay? I mean, that's what I, is again, I, I don't wanna say which one's better. This is definitely different than any other grinder, any other hand grinders out there. So let's put it that way, okay? Any other hand grinders. So, still cheaper than K Plus. K plus is about 250. Okay, 250. Easy. Uh, J Max, 199. GP6, 199 as well. Okay, so this is only 199. But again, so before, I mean, don't take my word for it, guys. Okay, all right. Do not take my word for it. And and I did a, a blind tasting. So check out my video. If you haven't check out my video, make sure to check it out. And uh, by the way, so John, uh, John mentioned, yeah, it's not available on Amazon, okay? Amazon is not available. Only place is the Easy Press website. If you go to any other websites, they're all sold out. So only place I know is the, the Easy Press website. And I believe only color available uh, when I purchased it last week, okay? I ordered it last week, so only colors available was a silver. Okay, uh, because I, I, I prefer gray, but hey, at this point, you know, I don't care at the time, you know, I mean, I just want the GP6. But again, there is a lot of resources out there on the web. So do your research, okay? Better yet, if uh, any of your friend has one, uh, you can ask them as well. Better yet, if you're nearby, you know, go, uh, go to your friend's house, do some, you know, taste, okay? But it's definitely, 
again, if you are into, what's the word I'm looking for? You are into a really good filter experience. So this is the grinder for you. But okay, so, so, so let's talk about this in perspective, okay? I have a fellow Opus right behind me. He does the espresso. He does filter coffee, do well, okay? That only costs 200 bucks. And then we have a Brazza. Uncle just came out. It's called ESP. That such bag uh, is about the same price range, $200. It does the espresso and filter. So now we have a hand grinders, okay? The price range between $50 and we have $250. Commandante go up to $350, okay? It's a, I mean, we are talking about huge price difference. So you can do it with the hand grinder, you can do filter, you can do espresso, but in reality, okay, mo most times just a filter anyway, you're kind of like filter driven. So if you are watching my videos, you guys are already down the copy rabbit hole already, okay? You guys are all, all down the copy rabbit hole, so I think you guys are going to enjoy the GP6, all right? And if you don't like it, just return it. Okay, hold on a second here. Uh, uh, Dr. Safti asked, did you already compare the GP6 versus the EK43? Yes, I have. Okay, I think I did about one or a uh, few times already. I picked out the GP6. So, again, it's only one test. So, coming days and coming weeks, you know, you, you guys know, okay, this channel, if you, are, if you are first time joining us, I don't do only one videos, all right? If, if I like something, we are going to make multiple videos on it. So we, got, we are going to have plenty of content uh, from GP6. Okay, we are, we are going to make uh, GP6 versus, let's say, EK43. My EK43 has the 2015, the SSP version in it, the geometric, bring out all the sweetness and clearly. The birds alone, okay, you are looking at $700, six or $700 just for the birds, okay? This hand grinder is only 200 bucks. It is a lot, but compared to EK43, this is a drop on the bucket. So I did pick out the GP6, so. Yeah, I mean, I, I was a little disappointed, you know, because I was hoping for EK43, but with, the, with that coffee, okay, GP6 was on the top. But other coffees are different, so it all depends on the coffee you are drinking as well. Okay, hold on a second here. We have uh, ARK, A-R-K-H. Opus will destroy many branded hand grinders. Uh, I think you might be right. Yeah, I, th I think so too. Okay. But again, I mean, we are looking, for, I mean, if you guys are looking for the best, all right? If you guys are looking for, you are looking for the best, something unique. The, the, I, I think I have to say GP6 is, is kind of on the top of my list. So far, I've been doing a lot of research, uh, research on the last couple of months. So which hand grinder I, I'm, I'm going to enjoy the most? After research, a lot of you out there who you need to try GP6, okay? So I did talk with a lot of people. A lot of my viewers have one. So anyway, uh, I, I hope this video helps. Again, if you are joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live streaming. If you guys if you guys enjoy the the live content, okay, not edited, you're in the right place. All right. And I'm gonna see you guys next time. Oh, hold on. Mohammed has a question. The open espresso Apex. Man, you know what? I do want to try that. I mean, I heard great things about it. So uh, let me work on that as well. All right, guys. See you next time.